Welcome to Svalbard! You'll notice that it's in the Arctic. <laughs> it's fine though. It really is fine, with the right clothes. <laughs> so, first and foremost, avoid fleece and polyester. It's not warm enough, no matter how many layers. Instead, start with a warm base layer directly on the skin. To avoid getting damp from physical activity, you can add a breathing layer. Add flexible hiking pants for very short walks outside. Just hiking pants will not be enough. Add layers of wool instead. Wool around your neck and woolen sweaters or jackets. Put on woolen socks but not too much so you have to cram your feet into your shoes as this will only make you cold. Put on wind and waterproof pants, woolen hat and a wind and waterproof jacket. Wrist warmers are great for extra heat. Then mittens over that. For windy days, windproof over mittens will be a good choice. For extra cold days, you can swap the windproof jacket with a down jacket and use hiking boots meant for winter conditions. A sole with no tracks will not give you a good grip on the surface. So choose boots with deep tracks underneath. No padding inside the shoes will make you in direct contact with the snow, which makes you cold. So choose boots with padding. Again, avoid fleece and polyester. For slippery days or walks on the glacier, use micro spikes to get a good grip on the surface. You can borrow them at student equipment or buy them in town. On windy days with precipitation, to avoid snow or rain in your eyes, a hood will do, but a winter cap or hat is better. In the spring semester, the sun will pop out. Remember to protect your eyes from the bright light, as it's reflected by the snow and therefore amplified. But until then, you'll need a headlight or a flashlight. The unofficial Eunice uniform consists of slippers, hiking pants and a woolen sweater. And long hair is most practical in braids while hiking. Have fun exploring Svalbard!